the Saturday wrap. It's the Saturday wrap from Friday yet again. And a new month, April. It'll be the 1st of April on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And I can guarantee uh, no April Fool's jokes because I don't like them. I don't think they're funny. Uh, and I don't think they're clever. And I, well, I don't like them. Anyway, if you haven't seen this before, why um and if you have seen this before this is miss me moaning on with a fairly new shaved head about my past week which seems to be all about satoshis which i think is one hundredth millionth of a bitcoin certainly a subdivision of a bitcoin and about 500 is about 15 us cents or something like that anyway yeah, this was my week. Um, politics, beer, um, Bitcoin, um, heating, and various other things. Anyway, the word or phrase of the week. Um, I think this was either Tuesday or Wednesday, and it was talk sport at four o'clock in the morning. And apparently, according to the OR Daily Star, and I think that's official, Boffins don't like being called boffins anymore. And then in the night they interviewed, well, she hadn't finished her degree, uh, but she was taking physics, which is difficult. And she said that being called a boffin was putting off young people becoming a boffin. Actually, in her case, a physicist, uh, and we should stop doing it. It's one of those things like boffins have said, surveys have said, it really doesn't mean anything. And you take most of what they say with a pinch of salt. Anyway, just in case you're wondering, I think boffins are on the way out. My app of the week. I don't want to be boring about this, but Transport for Wales Rail app, it kind of just works. Well, it's always worked for me, and the QR code and the activation and all that sort of stuff works. Um, basically, what I do, desktop PC, look it all up, whatever, transfer it over to the app, and off you go. Android and iOS. Yeah, I know, trains. Uh, especially in the Rhondda Valley, the lack of them are going to run. But I like it. I think it's healthy. Uh, except I haven't used it this year, so apart from once. But when I needed it, it worked. Okay, the thing of the week. Spent most of this week um, arranging a transfer of me and various members of the team, because the team is no more, and I'm off to a new job. And I met my line manager, my line manager's line manager, and they all seemed really rather nice. Um, the problem is, is the people I work with are really rather nice and I'm going to miss them. Although, if you need any tech support, you know where I am. Um, yeah, and starting a new job is not like moving on anymore. It's just going to another set of um, Teams meetings. I'm taking it a bit cynical there. Um, anyway, so this is from last Friday evening. And when I finished this, I tried out bottle pay. Bottle Pay is a place where you can buy, well, this Bitcoin, but Satoshis and, you know, passports and all that. The only thing I couldn't do was get my avatar to stick there. Apart from that, it worked perfectly. And I bought £10 worth of Satoshis. That was my Friday night. Uh, early night, obviously. Um, and on Saturday, uh, up to the Malcolm Uphill, listening to podcasts tech podcasts um watching the rain etc and trying out of the wallet of satoshi um five pounds worth of satoshis over to the wallet of satoshi and just worked really just worked and then transferring everything that i got from bitcoin magazine which is an app uh over to the wallet of satoshi and that just worked as well in fact things really just sort of worked I was drinking beer. And of course, it was um, the first Saturday of the Weatherspoon Spring Beer Festival. And there were four new ones on in the Malcolm Uphill. I'm currently up to 14. 
Um, I'm not going to drink them all unless they keep them going after the beer festival ends, which is on Sunday. I hope they do. Because there hasn't been a bad one. There have been some averagey ones, but there have been some quite good ones as well, he said. Sunday morning. The disappointment of Sunday morning was British summertime. I lost an hour. We all lost an hour. I'm quite happy with the Greenwich Mean Time. I'd actually be quite happy with just sticking on one time, even if it had to be British summertime. Ah, well, there you go. I suppose we'll get it back in the autumn, but I don't want it, you know. Monday rained. Not that badly, though. Um, this was sunny in the afternoon. Um, bought some more compost, filled three bags and one big box with compost, potato feed on top of them. Um, and not too bad at all. Yeah, and then it rained. And it washed the potato feed into the soil and the compost, and it was good. Tuesday. Yeah, iOS 16.4, iPad OS 16.4. Uh, Mac OS 13.3 and even the 15s got updated as well. So that's my iPod touches. Hmm. Wednesday. Wednesday planting day. Although it did rain, it stopped enough for me to get 16 tubers into the bags at the top of the garden next to Derek. And then afterwards it started to rain, which washed it all in and I'm very pleased. I put some of the new compost that I'd bought on top of them. Um, I'll do the next ones in probably about 10 days' time. So I've got my crops spread out. The potatoes are Casablanca's first early good chippers, as you would expect. Thursday, colleagues from work. A late birthday meal. Late because, well, scheduling. And a, um, a little prezi, which is, well, it made me feel very thankful that I've got friends like that. And thank you very much. And um, tiny thanks. Massive tiny thanks. And then when I came back to work and I came home, an email from Octopus. My fixed contract, they're going to let me out of it. They told me what would be the cheapest thing, which is probably about 50 quid a month cheaper. Um, and as long as I transferred onto it by tomorrow, already have, I'd be much better off. Thank you. <sighs> I've seen some of the other companies. Octopus is by far the best. They are mostly on your side. I don't say completely on your side because I still have to make a profit, but there you go. They are good. They are very good. And also Algebra. Another one of these debit cards that you top up and you get cash back. This time, 1.5%. Tried it lunchtime. Uh, and uh, I had a referral code. And as long as I topped up at least £20 and spent at least £5, the more than that, um, I get a fiver back from them as a welcoming gift. Um, they're in beta at the moment, uh, if you're in the States, beta. Um, and they're looking at doing savings as well, pots. I think I'm going to like it. Keeping the um, chase one going as well. Because, you know, any cash back is good cash back. And in spoons today, the spring spoons of mag. With a big section on how wonderful the toilets are. That is the true meaning of spring. Spoons magazine. Should have been out at the beginning of March. I suspect um, they had the same problems in getting it as they've been getting with buying tomatoes this week in spoons anyway um how we doing coming in under 10 minutes anyway that was my week tomorrow back to newport uh, the penultimate day of the spoon spring beer fest um some tiny rebelling maybe the little top house um what else can't think doesn't really matter the bus pass will be used Bye-bye.